Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Caston High School. We are in the Caston Gymnasium uh, getting ready for the, uh, the first game for the Argus Lady Dragons, and I believe it might even be the first game for the uh, Caston Lady Comets here. My name's Phil Dean, and I am, uh, uh, I'm here tonight. We're in for a treat. We've got Dylan Kindig here who's going to help, uh, actually he's gonna do all the commentating. I'm here to get him up and running. And then, um, what's her name? Uh, and then we have Ellie Bollenbacher on the camera. Ellie Bollenbacher, first time camera. If you uh, were with us during the soccer season, uh, you knew that uh, we were, you were told that uh, we were starting a new club uh, at the high school. And uh, we're gonna be teaching the, the students how to run the equipment and do the commentating, do all the talking, so that way, uh, what little bit of talking I do do, you don't have to listen to me or Amy. Um, we'll get the student's perspective on it. So we are, again, we are down here at Caston, uh, getting ready for the start of the game. We have about 11 minutes left. Um, it was kind of a nice night coming in. Um, we got kind of a sparse crowd. I know that they were allowing 250 per side, so 500 people total uh, to come in here today. Um, and this is going to be uh, Scott Jennings, Coach Jennings' uh, very first high school game. So what will happen here is we have about 10 minutes and 30 seconds left. Uh, do you want anything else to, to, to say? I got nothing except I'm really excited to be here and to be doing this today and just you gotta get your mic a little closer. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Just really excited to be here today, being able to do this. It's one of my dreams to do when I'm older, so I'm did really happy to be here doing this. When uh, when Miss Amy asked you to do this, did uh, did you go home and turn the sound off and practice watching a game? Uh, no, I didn't actually because I just. Because sometimes when I watch stuff on TV, I just do it myself and I turn the sound off there anyway. So. There you go. There you go. Uh, big thing to remember is is. Um, um, no profanity. Um, and then uh, um, both schools are RTC schools who, uh, even though we are IHSAA TV, uh, both of them are backed by RTC. Um, so try to, you know, not where, where some schools, they, yeah, we lean a little more towards Argus when we're at home. Yeah. But when you have both schools in here, try to treat them both fairly. So with that, we got nine minutes left here. We're gonna go ahead and mute the lines um, and then we will come back for starting lineups and then the national anthem. And then uh, Dylan will take over from there and call the game for you. Um, while uh, Miss Bolenbacher here runs the camera. She's a little nervous as well. <laughs> I don't even think she knows that we're talking about her. <laughs> so we will be back here shortly. All right, they're going to start off. Dylan, you got the you got the lineups, right? Yeah, I do have the lineups. For tonight's varsity girls basketball game between the visiting Lady Dragons of Argus and your Caston Lady Mountains. Now let's meet the starting lineups. First for the visiting Lady Dragons. Number 12, Sydney Shepard. So first we're going to start with the visiting Dragons lineups. Starting first, number 12 is Sydney Shepard. Next is number 14, Isabella Stoltz. Number 20, Emma Dunlap. Number 22, Maddie Vanderweel. Number 40, Lizzie and then 
number 40, Lizzie Edmonds. Relatively younger team this year with there only being two seniors and then two sophomores in the starting five this year. Who are the seniors? Uh, we, Maddie, Maddie Vanderweel and Sydney Shepard. Okay. The seniors. So they're going to be relying pretty well. Oh, yeah. So starting lineups for the Comets, we have number 11, Isabella Scales. Number 12, Bailey Harness. 13, Addison Zimpleman. Number 20, Maddie Smith. And then number 25, Abby Williamson. I was going to say, how would you like to be the officials? They're just now taking their masks off. How'd, how would you like to be with them running up and down the court having to wear a mask? Uh, that, uh, <laughs> as a player, that... Uh, <laughs> how tall is number 20 on their team? Number 20. Uh, she's 5 foot 10. 5 foot 10 against what, 6'2"? It doesn't say the exact heights for Argus here. It they, just says the position in the... I'm going off so of memory. I'm, I'm going 6 foot. Uh, say That's I, what I'm saying. I thought last year she was 6'2". Yeah. The cast, cast and Comets start off with possession. Quick attack. Number 25 up with it. That's no good. Rebound, Sydney Shepard. She's going to slow things down a little bit. Kicks to Vanderweel on the wing. Inside to Stoltz. Looking. Dives for it. Looks like it's going to be a jump ball. It's going to stay here. Argus possession. Inbound Vanderweel to Stoltz. Ooh, almost a travel there, almost picked up her foot. That's a steal. Zimpelman takes it all the way down, coast to coast. That's an easy bucket. Two nothing Comets, and a steal. Foul in the shot, got it to go with the foul shot. Is that foul on Emma Dunlap? Yes, it was. That's her first. Takes a bad hop off of the back iron. And other, other way, Vanderweel. To Edmonds. Elbow jumper, no good. That one looks like it's going to be over the back. Yeah, loose ball foul going the other way. Inbound to Scales. Shepard right behind her. And that one's bumped out of bounds. Argus possession. But yeah, like I said, the Dragons this year, they're going to have to rely on some of their more inexperienced players that were normally floating JV and varsity last season. So this is going to be a whole new experience for them playing full time. Edmonds on the floor for it. Looks like another jump ball. Should be casting ball this time. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, <laughs> had, to, had it mixed up. Yep, my <laughs> bad. Even some of the parents had it confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I apologize if I only say some of the numbers for the casting comments tonight. I, uh, I'm still getting familiar with some of the names. I'll probably get more familiar as the game goes on. So if I'm only using numbers, that's why. Hey, this is your first night of calling. Got to start somewhere, right? Inbound to Edmonds. Right away, to, right away up the floor. Early press from Kasten. I'm assuming that your parents are not here tonight. They are not. They're okay. Because I just got a text message from your dad. They're watching, aren't they? And he's wanting to know if I'm going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> the answer to that is no. <laughs> I am teaching. This is a teaching moment for somebody to take my place. <laughs> Good fake stolen by Vanderweel there. 
It's a two on one. She's going to slow it down to set up an offense. Looking around, nothing. Back out top to the corner. No shot there. She'll kick it back. Now, have you guys started boys basketball yet? Uh, we, practice? we have started open gyms, but we don't start official practice until Monday. Okay. Because soccer went a little long. and Yep. Yeah. So if they, uh, has uh, Miss Amy told you that uh, we're going to try to set you up with a wireless mic so then that way you can actually call the game while you're playing? <laughs> I have been told that. I don't know if they'll allow it, but <laughs> if that would work, that would definitely be amazing. Shepard the shot. That's good for two. That's the Dragons' first basket of the half and the first basket of the game. That's a three. Good offensive glass by number 12 there. And then she'll have two shots from the stripe. That foul is Lizzie Edmonds. That's her first. Team's third. Yeah. Harness puts the first one in out of two. Seconds up, that one's good. Early pressure by Kasten, already starting off aggressively on defense. Good pass fake there to get across the timeline. Ooh, questionable travel. Dumped inside, Dunlap up and no good. Edmonds fighting for it, Stoltz ends up with it, no, sh no good on the shot. And now Kasten will take it the other way. Rebound to Zimpleman. And that that ball is thrown away. It was uh, fingertips over, over her fingertips. <laughs> and then now checking in for the Kasten Comets is Jordan Klingler. She'll come in for Maddie Smith. And then also it looks like Sophie Bullenbacher is going to check in for the Dragons for Isabella Stoltz. Gets it across quick that time. On the wing to Dunlap, loses it. Almost goes out of bounds, saves it. Back to Bolenbacher on the top of the key. Looking for a pass, nothing there. Floaters up, no good. Didn't get anything on it. That's a three, no good. Good work on the offensive glass though so far by the Comets. They're really attacking the boards. And now here's Dunlap taking it up on the right side. Kick over to Vanderweel. Here's Bonebacher, she'll try to drive to the middle, to the corner. No shot there, no shot there either. That one a little bit of contact, but no call. Dumps into the middle, Dunlap looks for the floater, no good. Bonebacher, the offensive board. Bobbles a little bit. Edmonds looks, thinks about shooting. She could have had that shot, honestly. But Kasten playing very good defense right now, really holding the Dragons to a long possession. And that's five seconds. Good defense. I was even thinking she even had a hand on her hip the whole five yeah, seconds, yeah. going back and forth. These, their Comets are really putting pressure on the ball tonight. And I think that'll definitely help them along the line of this game. That's a quick shot. Foot was on the line, though. Edmonds will dribble it up. To the corner. No shot there. 
Well, you know, this is the Dragons first year with a new coach. That's true. And uh, uh, good finish by Edmonds there. Sorry. They're trying to, uh, you know, get themselves reorganized after a lot of the team quit halfway through last year. Yeah, like, uh, like who was it? There was two seniors that mm -hmm. stopped, right? So that left them with starting some players that they didn't really have much experience in. Like, yet again, like this year, they're still starting some younger players. And yep. It's definitely going to be a different experience for coaching staff and the players. I think the fun thing that'll that'll be is to, to watch the team as we see it tonight and then on the very last game, watch to see where the team is at. Yeah. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of improvement here. Oh, yeah. Here's Dunlop dribbling across the top of the key to Edmonds. Has a shot, thought about it, didn't take it. Good pass to Bullenbacher in the middle. There's a foul on number 20, Matty Smith. And that'll send Bullenbacher to the line for two. First one's good. And that's her first point of the night. And then there's some substitutions. We have number 13, number 13, Addison Zimpleman coming in for number 20, Maddie Smith. And then didn't get anything on the second shot. But like I was saying for the Dragons, though, the, Com the Comets don't have any seniors in their starting lineup. They're starting a freshman. They have two juniors. They have two freshmen and a sophomore. Do they even have any seniors on their roster? They have one senior on their roster, and that's Jordan Klingler, and she comes off the bench. So the, uh, two. Two seniors. Oh, two seniors. Uh, yeah. The other senior being Lane Oliver. But yeah, both teams, both starting some inexperienced players. This will, this will be a fun season to watch for yes. both teams. Down to Edmonds, down low, looking for it. Shepard the shot. That one off the side of the backboard, out of bounds. I know this is the first game, but I know where where uh, Edmonds excelled at last year is when they posted her up right underneath the basket. She has a size advantage against a lot of other players. So yes. I don't. I I'd look forward to seeing them keep dumping it into the post for her to get uh, chances to score. And then Miller the rebound. She's checked in. Forgot to tell about that one. That's on me. Oh, and double then, dribble. Yep. All traveled. And now here come the Comets. Night, both teams still a little lower score, but that shot short. Miller trying to fight for it on the inside, but can't come out with it. And then there's going to be. Should be on Cindy or uh, Shepard. Yeah. That's her first, the team's fourth. And then there's a travel right off the pass. Lizzie looking for it, finds Vanderweel, wide open shot, can't convert. Oh, big pass. Can't Lizzie make that one Lizzie got a fingertip on it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah, she got a fingertip on it. Changed the direction of the ball. Vanderweel, the floater. Hits glass and nothing else. Lizzie off the mark there, too. Dunlane comes scales. Fast break bucket.
Got to get a shot up. That one's going to be well short. And we will end the first quarter here with the final score in the first quarter. Cast an eight, Argus five. In this game, the Dragons are having over half of their bonus fouls already in the first quarter. Yes, that's going to make this next quarter uh, tough for them to, they're, they're just going to have to back off a little bit and, and uh, not do the, the stupid fouls. Yeah. Defensively, they're going to have to watch out for those um, the off-ball fouls too because those get called more than you think, like just the screens. and Like, <laughs> trust me, I know. <laughs> I've been on the <laughs> receiving end of many of those. All right. Well, I'm going to turn everything over to I'm going to turn everything over to you. All right. I'll come back just before halftime. Yep. Um, I wasn't supposed to be here tonight. I actually had my fire department physical tonight, and I figured oh, okay. that I wouldn't get done until after seven o'clock. So I wasn't planning on on being here. And then uh, when we got done, I told my wife, "You want to go out on a date? We're going to go to a high school basketball game." <laughs> <laughs> and in Indiana, that's perfect. <laughs> So right now she sat the first quarter by herself, so I'm going to go sit back with her. <laughs> All right. All right, and so the second quarter is going to start with Heston possession. And we're going to get right into it now. Scales the drive, feeds it inside. That one's blocked by Edmonds. Good defensive play there. Tries to put a pass up, but Shepard's not looking for it. So now Scales will bring it back up the floor for another Comets offensive possession. Hopefully they can, maybe they're trying, they're definitely trying to convert here just to increase this lead. That one tip doesn't go out of bounds quite. That one scales top of the key, a three. That one's off. Board by Matty Vanderweel. Feeds inside to Edmonds, turns, looks. Nothing there, she'll kick it back out. So now Vanderweel's trying to start up the offense, which so far, so far has been a little struggling, but Kasson has been playing very solid defense tonight. So now we come up for a dragon possession. Miller to inbound. Edmonds has it. Klingler's playing pretty far off of her outside. She could look for that shot if she has it. That one's off the mark on the contact shot. That one's put back in by Bolenbacher. Good work on the offensive glass. That one's off the mark. Rebound Vanderweel. Shepard kicks it up to the top of the key. Spoenbacher dribble, dumps in. Edmonds looks for a shot, nothing there. Vanderweel dribbling, nothing there. A little too high for Miller, and that one will go out of bounds for Comets for Comets possession. And now Emma Dunlap's going to come in for Sydney Shepard. Now it's Harness on the outside. A three, that one's off the mark. Rebound Miller. She'll rush it down the floor. Here's Dunlap, good finish. Good finish inside. That's good for two. And Argus now takes a lead nine to eight. Three shot, that one's good. That's good, 25 Abby Williamson. 
first three of the night from either team. Edmonds looks for that shot. It doesn't fall for her off the back iron. And here come the comments again. The drive to the baseline, that's a shot up. No good. She'll get two shots at the line. That one was on Sophie Bullenbacher. As Isabella as Isabel Scales will go to the line for two. The first one falls for her. as Isabella Vanderweel, or uh, <laughs> sorry, Isabella Stoltz will come in for Maddie Vanderweel. Second free throw is up. That one is also good. So now here comes Dunlap down the floor. Kick to Bullenbacher. That, that pass looked like a surprise her a little bit. And then she loses it. Goes out of bounds. Caston will go the other way. And now Shepard will check in for Edmonds. That one's going to be a kicked ball. Caston will still keep it. And we'll get a timeout, full timeout. And the score now is 13 to nine. Kasten is leading with 438 left in the half. The Dragons in the first quarter looked like they were gonna be in some foul trouble, but they've slowed the fouls down a little bit, already almost halfway through the second quarter, only with one of them. And no Ticky tacky fouls or anything, so that's good. Keeping them out of foul trouble. But yeah, like I said before, both teams really are attacking the offensive glass. A lot of tip balls off of the backboard and just really good job trying for defensive or rebounding efforts just all around. Really good stuff. And here we go, we're back at it, cast in possession. It's Williamson with the ball at the top. Klingler trying to free herself in the middle. Stoltz doing really well, keeping, her, keeping in front of her. Zimpelman the drive, the double team there. Good defensive play. Dump off to Klingler, that one's good for two. Looks like a little defensive miscommunication there, but it doesn't even matter. Still gets a turnover. Pass inside. That one's Bailey Harness. Score 17 to nine now. Kasten just slowly building that lead. That one goes off of Dunlap and out of bounds. And subs now, Edmonds for Carly Miller. And now here comes Scales. She'll, they'll try to get something going to keep extending this lead like they've been doing the second quarter. That one's a travel. Now the Dragons will go the other way. Dunlap will be running the point now. She'll be running the offense. That one's an early st quick steal. Harness inside, no good. There was a little bit of contact there, but not enough to call the foul. And Dunlap hustling down the other way. 
Ooh, almost a travel there. Here's Stoltz, looks for the shot, good fake. That shot's no good. And here comes Scales the other way. Tried to keep it inbounds, but couldn't keep it within the lines. Now the Dragons will have the possession on their side, on their scoring side of the floor. And now Vanderweel, Maddie Vanderweel is going to come in for Sophia Bollenbacher. Inbound to Vanderweel. Shepard the cut, nothing there. Stoltz dribbles to the wing. Screen Dunlap. Baseline cut, nothing there. Dunlap, that one's blocked. And here comes Williamson the other way. Kasten playing really solid defense tonight, only holding him to nine points so far, still in single digits. That one's blocked by Edmonds. Klingler, she got fouled up by Edmonds going up. She'll get two from the line. Lizzie Edmonds, that's her second, team sixth. First is up, and that one's no good. Getting set for a second shot. It's up. That one's also no good. Doesn't get anything out of the two. Shepard cut off early. Good cut by Stoltz, but that one, that pass. Oh, jump ball. And then it's going to stay there, Argus ball. Vanderweel to inbound. Already took some time off of the inbounds time. Stalls the shot from the elbow. That one's off. Pass to the other end of the court. Or side, not end, sorry. Here's a drive. Here's Scales. Dumps it inside to Klingler. Rebound Klingler inside. She's fouled going up. This one looks like it'll be on Stoltz. Yeah, foul on Isabella Stoltz. Klingler going up. She'll get another two from the line. That's the Dragons' seventh now. That's their seventh foul, so now Kasten is in the bonus. And Klingler can't convert another free throw. Second one's up. That one falls. Dunlap to bring it up. Stalls the ball screen. Going to the middle. Good drive, got nothing though. Klingler, the board. That one's a foul. Looks like it'll be on the ground though, but she'll still get one and one free throws for the bonus. That one was on Maddie Vanderweel. Went over the, Vanderweel went over the line there. So Scales is gonna have another. And there's gonna be a substitution, number 13, Addison Zimpleman is gonna come in for Jordan Klingler. Now they're gonna reset the one and one. First shot's up, that one still off the mark. Passes it up. Shepard taking it to the basket, nothing there. Really fighting for the ball there, way to rip it out of their hands. And the other way the Comets go, this one cut off by Shepard. Good defensive play, way to get her hand in the way.
Here's Scales, still looking. She'll drive baseline. Dump off, nothing there. Pass can't connect. Other way, Dragons go. Here's Dunlap. 45 seconds left in the half. Backdoor pass, still can't get it. Vanderwill, good defensive play, way to read it. She'll take it to the basket. There's a foul there. Looks like it's gonna be on number 14, Kinsey Monk. Malenkoff, sorry, I kind of botched that name. And now that'll send Vanderwiel to the line for two. Vanderwill setting up for a second. This one's up. That one also no good. Dunlap really working on defense, really trying to keep her defender in front of her the whole time. She's doing really good at it. Here's a drive. Tipped by Edmonds. Good shot fake. Questionable travel there. Couldn't get the shot to go. And now here comes Vanderweel with seven seconds. She'll get a shot up. That one's no good. Good work. No, no foul. Oh, there's the foul. There's the foul before the buzzer. Looks like they're going to give her two shots. Are they going to have everyone else come off the floor? Because time, ex yep. time expired, so everyone has to get back. So now Vanderbilt's just going to try to cut into this lead before they have to give the Dragons some momentum going into the third quarter. This one's up. It's off the back iron and out. Second one. That one falls. So now the Dragons are down going into the half, 18 to 10. And we will see you guys in the third quarter. How's uh, how's your first half? My first half, I felt, I felt at times I could have filled in a little more, but I mean, I'm just I'm just still trying to get used to everything here. And well, your your dad's still texting me. What's he saying now? He said it sounds good, looks oh, good. Oh, good, that's good. So I expected some criticism from the first half. So. No, that'll be when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my brothers will be waiting at home for me to say something. So, <laughs> well, what's uh, what's going to happen next here is uh, we got nine minutes thirty seconds left of the uh, halftime. We're going to go ahead and put the the camera on the court and go ahead and mute the lines, and then we'll come back. Uh, all right, we're back. We have just over thirty seconds left. Um, Dylan, if this was your team, what would you be telling them in the locker room? Uh, if I was in the team in the if, oh, if you man. were Argus's coach. Okay. Uh, I would just be saying uh, keep it up defensively. It doesn't look horrible on the offensive side. It's looking pretty solid, but we still got to be attacking the glass a little better because they're really attacking the offensive boards. So we really want to try to box them out and just stop their momentum going forward towards the basket. And then secondly, we got to close out on the shots. There's been some – I know there's only been – there's only been one three tonight from Caston, but I've – like – they're, I have a feeling there's still some pretty good shooters on that team, and they could be deadly if we leave them open. So you always got to close out on the shooters and just keep doing your best to get defensive stops. Me, I personally, I focus on defense mostly, so that's probably what I'd be talking about most. But, yeah, just keep getting uh, solid defensive stops. Just keep crashing the boards and just let's make some – Let's convert some more on our offensive possessions. And I was even thinking, you know, maybe to, to you know, what I've seen in that is uh, relax when they're on offense. It seems like they're going down there and they're forcing the, the – they're trying to force the shot in and they're either throwing it over or throwing it off. Yeah. 
Uh, now, what would you say if you were casting coach? If I was casting coach, I would be saying, like I said earlier, like keep crashing those boards, getting quite a bit of offensive or yeah, offensive disruption off the off of their own shots and defense with that steal being shown. Defense on both sides has been looking pretty good with this. Like both have a lot of steals so far. Definitely, definitely tell Casting keep the pressure up. Yeah, they're you can tell they're getting to Argus's minds and they're not. They're not backing up. They're not backing off. They're going to keep getting hands on the ball, and they're just going to keep fighting. We got a cast and foul. Number that 20. one's going to be on Maddie Smith. But yeah, both teams so far defensively. There's been quite a bit of steals, and a lot of passes that haven't connected with their own team. So yes. Especially inside, they're trying to move the ball on the inside mostly. I would I would just say put up a good post move and don't try to move the ball too much while you're in the paint because that just compacts it more. So you just want to get a shot up, make a good move, get a shot up. Get a good shot up, good yeah. relaxed yeah. shot up. There's also been some pretty good fakes from both sides I've seen. some Like on this end of the floor when Kasson has been – Pressing, I've seen some good ball fakes there, just forcing away attention. And then shot fakes, they've been they've been pretty good, gotten some players to jump. There's oh, a kickball by Vanderwill. When I left there at the second the second quarter and, and uh, went and sat in my seat, the uh, uh, Casson actually did perform the one play that that I think Argus needs to adapt more to, and that was uh, the ball carrier came down. Drew the defensive away, and then as she went up, she passed it over to the Dumps post. Dumps it off, yeah. And the post was wide open. Here's on the inside. Stripped by Bollenbacher. Here comes Dunlap the other way. One coming to her right. Spins away from it. Loses possession there. Gets it back. Into Stoltz. Good shot there. Won't go. And that one's going to be a jump ball, and it'll be Argus possession, it looks like. They really do have to convert on these, especially the baseline out of bounds, too. They're, these are like corner kicks in soccer. Like, they're right there. They're easier to score on than the regular offense, and just got to convert more on those. And now Dunlop's going to have two from the line. Did you see who the foul was? I didn't see it. 25. 25. Oh, it says right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. I just had to look at the scoreboard. <laughs> Dunlop up off the back iron. Good offensive board there. Ball fake drive to the right side. Little contact there, but no call. Pass inside. That one's blocked. Fights on the glass. Got it. That's number 20, Maddie Smith. Is that her first points for the evening? Uh, yes. Caston so far really doing well maintaining this lead and extending it for as much as they have. They came into the half with only an eight point lead and then they've scored four straight so far. Looks like we have an Argus timeout. Now normally we run commercials. Um, however though, this is not, uh, the equipment we're using is the cast and cruise equipment and uh, um, so I am not sure if they have commercials on here. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> and Steve hasn't Steve hasn't uh, uh, told us if we've got commercials on there. So we're just going to go ahead during these timeouts and let you look at the court.
Again, if you're just tuning in, we have two first timers here on the broadcasting crew. Uh, as you may have heard us uh, mention several times during the soccer season, uh, Argus has started a, I don't know what, the, an AV club, I guess you could say, uh, and, uh, or a broadcasting club. And we are trying to get the students to take over the commentating, the, the camera work, and eventually maybe even the computer work on uh, for each of the games. And we have uh, two first timers with us tonight. We got Dylan Talkin, Dylan Kiddig, who also plays uh, boys basketball for Argus. And then we have young Miss Bolenbacher, and I can't remember her first name. Ellie Bolenbacher. Ellie. <laughs> I wanted to say Emma. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going to be a foul on Bailey Harness. Cassin already with four fouls this quarter. Still plenty of time left in the, still five minutes left in the quarter too. We're not even halfway through and they're over half their fouls. Well, you know, the first half, we were halfway through, and Argus was halfway yeah. through their fouls. Slowed down, barely got to bonus. I think it was eight, first half. And now that one falls. Simple men kick out the scales going across the key. Hand off to Williamson. Dunlap still playing really good defense there. Then that's a three in the key. Dunlap still playing really solid defense, keeping her, keeping her match up in front of her. <coughs> that one gets away from her, but Sydney re Shepard recovers. Still trying to find an opening in this offense, but that one's stolen. Oh. Here's Scales going down. Dunlap, the foul, and the shot. So now Scales put that one in, and now she'll have another one from the line. And that's a foul on Emma Dunlap, it was. And that's just, correct? you know, at that point in time, that's just a, a pointless foul. Um, Kasson's already up in front of you, so you're reaching in from behind and then slapping her down on the arms. There's really no point in putting your hands up there, especially Correct. on a fast break where the shot's more than likely going to go in. Bolenbacher, the baseline jumper, that one goes. Here's Scales, takes it up across the timeline. Vanderwill guarding her. That's a loose ball on the floor. It was and a loose ball and everybody looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so Kasson will keep possession. Edmonds get that, gets that one away from Klingler, but there's gonna be travel on Shepard there trying to get it out of that trap. Here's a three off the inbound. That's no good. Klingler fighting for it inside. Got it, but it's jump ball first. Klingler's going to come out for number 12, Bailey Harness. Here's Edmonds. She's going to take it up. Long pass to Shepard. Ends up with it, but... Got her, tried pushing her hand away and got yeah. caught. That's Shepard's second. 
And now number 21, Brianna Yarber, will come in for number 25, Abby Williamson. Edmonds the block. Block from behind. Great defensive play right there. And now here comes Dunlap. No, that one's stolen by Scales. Bollenbacher, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Kicks it out. Good job by Argus to stop that fast break there. That one's stripped by Edmonds. the offense by Argus this half. Not really much movement. They had really good ball movement in the second half, I thought, when they scored, but they haven't moved the ball much since, and now they're... You mean second quarter? Or did I say second half? Yes. Yeah. First half, they had good movement, and then they converted, but now they're not moving the ball as much, and the offense is a little stiff. Here's Vanderweel. Kicks it out to... Dunlap, shot fake drive. There's a foul first on the arm. Who did say that was on? 21. 21. She's got three. Oh, other team. I was looking at our team. <laughs> oh. Here comes Scales the other way. Shot no good, but there's a foul. She'll get two from the line now. Kasten's been really good getting fast breaks off these turnovers. Really trying to convert from the stripe, too, when they can't convert off the basket. That one's good, the first one. And in comes Klingler for Maddie Smith. Second shot underway, that one's up and good. Scales so far has converted all of her free throws. Ooh. That one, that one lost by the Dragons. That one goes off of Dunlap's foot, it looks like, and gets away from her. And just barely on the line as the ball will go the other way. Or was it, oh, it was a timeout, never mind. And that'll be a cast and timeout. Yeah, the Comets have been doing really well holding their lead for as long as they have. Keeping it from eight and up, really, because at the half they were only up by eight, but ever since then they've been up by double digits. So they've been doing really well defensively holding this lead. Now we'll get underway. Comet's possession on the baseline. This one into scales, into the corner, and there's a travel on the shot fake. Now here comes Dunlap. Comet's defense holding her to that left side. Shepard, nothing there. Pass fake by Dunlap to drive. No foul there. Edmonds gets it back on the offensive glass and puts it in. Dunlap fouls from behind trying to snatch it. Is that her third now? 
I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's our third. Dunlap's third and the team's fifth. Now Miller, Miller guarding Zimpelman. Scales top of the key, trying to, looking for a drive. Here's Klingler. Scales the shot, no good off the front iron. And the other way goes Bullenbacher on a fast break, two on one. Miller looks for the shot for three, off the mark. But it'll be cast and ball. See, it's those looks that the Dragons need to keep getting. But I know they didn't convert on that one, but it's those looks they need to keep searching for and hoping, to, trying to convert on them. Because they haven't gotten many open shots. Kasten's been playing really good defense. Contesting a lot of shots. Well, they called that one off of cast, and I thought maybe Liz yeah, I thought got her I thought Lizzie got it. Yeah. And now the other way come the Dragons. But if you notice this quarter, they've got Liz down down deep, and she's doing what she is built to do. Yeah. And that is block the ball, strip the ball, and come down with those rebounds. There's a questionable foul inside, but no call there. Good board by Edmonds there to rip it away from the opposition. And Ed Edmonds coming the other way. A little contact on the back there. Takes it all the way. No good. Now here comes, here comes Scales. There's 13 left on the clock. That's a three. That one's good. Three seconds left on the clock. Dunlap has to find someone to get a shot. That one's tipped, thrown away. And that's the third quarter. Kasten is up 30 to 15. 15 point deficit for the Dragons. And what do you think they'll try to do to try to come back to this one? <coughs> Sorry about that. I went to talk and uh, <laughs> it went down the wrong pipe. Well, they just got to get a little more aggressive on the offense. They got to look. They got to look before they pass. Um, there's a lot of passes that have just been thrown away. Yeah. Um, and then there again, just be relaxed on their shots. I think there's so many times where they're trying to rush their shots, and uh, they're either off or or they're pushing them or they're short. Yeah. And they really need to convert from the line and just try to draw more fouls because they the fouls that they have gotten, they've mostly been on the ground. And yes. so they just need to keep looking for those contact shots inside. Because Kasten has been all over the shots around the perimeter. They've been all over it. That and they just had to fake so many times because they're just their hands are always up in Dragon's faces. Okay, well, we're getting ready to start for the uh, fourth quarter. They changed out the balls. I'm wondering if somebody's got to sterilize that ball now. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I'll go ahead and I'm going to go back to my date. I'll let you handle fourth quarter, and I'll be back just before the end of it, and we'll wrap things up. Uh, Miss Amy's going to get us the stats right away, and that way we can give everybody the stats and uh, go from there. All right. And now here comes Dunlap taking the ball down the floor. She's trying to find Stoltz there, but can't find herself open. And here's Vanderweel. Screen Edmonds. She'll try to take it to the baseline, but there's a double dribble there. And so now the Dragons point, having to put on some pressure to try to slow down this Comets offense. And that's tipped out by Dunlap. That one's tipped out by Vanderweel. Good defensive play there. Dragon's pressure is looking good so far in this fourth quarter. 
Looking to try to get it in. A steal. Steal by Shepard. Stoltz trying to take it into the middle. Kicks out to Dunlap. The baseline shot. That gets nothing on it. Nothing on it short. And now the other way goes Kasten. Here's Zimpelman. She'll have it at the midcourt line. She'll take it to the right side. Kick to the top of the key. Scales travels on the pump fake. And the Dragons will go the other way. Vanderwiel to inbound to Dunlap. She'll kick to Stoltz on the wing. Drive into the middle. And there's a travel. That's been a problem the whole game for both teams, but mostly Argus. They just have trouble driving and then keeping that pivot foot down. Good defensive play there. Tipped it away. And there's a steal by Dunlap. She'll drive to the baseline. Try to get some contact. No foul there. She was looking for a foul, but couldn't get one. And now here's Vanderweel on scales. Scales to step back three. That gets nothing. It's short. And now Dunlap will take it the other way for the Dragons after that, after that shot hit nothing. Now there's a dump inside on the 15 line. Dunlap to drive, trying to kick it out, got tipped. And the other way comes Zimpleman. She'll take it up, blocked by Edmonds. She's been doing really well protecting the rim tonight. And now here comes Bullenbacher. She's going to come in for Emma Dunlap. Still, still no scoring here in the fourth quarter. Now Kasten will have it on their end line. Blocked. What a block by Stoltz. Keep that one from going in. Good defensive effort there. And now scales to inbound. Oh, miscommunication there on the switch. Shot chucked up off the front iron. Dragons fighting for it, but can't come out with it. And now here's Scales back in the top, trying to set up the offense, just trying to score. Both teams just trying to score this half, or this quarter, sorry. Here's Williamson. Kick to Harness. Now Scales back. And now Williamson ends up with it again on the top of the key. That one's tipped. She'll get it back, though. Step back, pump fake. Drive to the baseline. Edmonds, another block. Klingler can't get that one to go off the offensive board. And now Dragon's pushing the other way, but slows it down. Here's Vanderweel, top of the key. Trying to set something up. This offense has to get going if they want to put on a comeback. Inside to Edmonds. Oh, cut off by cut off by Scales there, trying to get it to Bullenbacher. Fast break, and there's a foul on Shepard. It's a foul on Shepard, her third, team sixth. Zimpleman at the line, the first free throw is good. First points of this fourth quarter being scored after three minutes. And the second free throw goes is good too. Now here comes Vanderweel. This offense really has to get going. Ball screen. Pass in. It looks like it was tipped. And now here comes Kasten the other way. Dragon stop another fast break. Kasten has been doing really well getting these fast breaks, though. And if they haven't been converting, they've been getting to the line and converting from there. They've been very good free throw shooting tonight. Here's Harness. Picks up her dribble, kicks it back to Scales on the top of the key. To the corner, a three. 
That one's airballed by Williamson in the other way. That one a little too much. Bullenbacher couldn't quite get there to save it. Right idea, but just a little too much on the pass. And now here's a substitution. It's going to be Abby Williamson coming out for Maddie Smith. Klingler kicks it right back out after she gets it. Scales looks for a shot, can't find anything. Klingler the shot, that gets nothing. Saved, and Shepard has it. Here's Stoltz, that one's good. Stoltz puts that one in. That's the first basket of the Dragons' second half and the first, or er, second, fourth quarter. And then that's the first field goal made in this fourth quarter and there's a foul it looks like it's going to be on Edmonds trying to block Klingler's shot and that's Edmonds third Kasten is now in the bonus free throws up and good from Klingler and in comes Carly Miller for Isabella Stoltz And Emma Dunlap's going to come back in for Sydney Shepard. Klingler stole the line. One more shot. That one's good. Now here come the Dragons. They're, they have a 17-point deficit with 3.30 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Dunlap to Bullenbacher, nothing there. Kicks back to Dunlap, shot fake. Bullenbacher, open shot, can't go. And it looks like it's gonna be a cast and foul that'll keep the possession to Argus under their basket. And that one was on number 12, Bailey Harness. And that, that'll send Vanderbilt to the line for two. First one's up, that's good. Both teams in the bonus. Vanderbilt's second shot, that one off the rim and out. Bounced around and just couldn't go, couldn't fall for. Nick has to move in the ball, reverses, drives, Vanderbilt stops the drive. On the corner, fake there. Travel going to be called. That's another one. Neither team can keep their pivot feet down trying to drive. Whether it's a shot fake or a drive, there's just been a lot of turnovers off of travels. And here comes the here come the Dragons. They're down 16. Edmonds the shot, that one gets stuck between the backboard and the rim, and that'll be a jump ball. Here comes Scales. Edmonds, the only one in her way, tips the pass. Scales gets it back anyway, puts it up and in. Now with an 18-point lead, Kasten. With just a little less than two and a half left. Vanderwill, left-handed drive, goes off her foot and out of bounds. Looks like foul on Vanderbilt there. Pushed her from the back trying to take it. Vanderbilt, that's her third. 
as Scales will go to the line for two more. That one's off. Rebound Bollenbacher, but Edmonds comes away with it. Lizzie trying to find room to break free from Scales. Vanderbilt top of the key now. Here's Dunlap with Klingler on her. Bollenbacher, questionable travel. Foot was on the line, and the casting comments will go the other way. Now substitution. Brianna Yarber is going to come in for Jordan Klingler. Argus putting on some pretty decent pressure here. They've been tipping some. They've been tipping some passes with their pressure at the beginning of the fourth, but not much since. And there's a foul. There's a foul on Emma Dunlap. That's her fourth. That one's in. Smith puts that one in. Second one's up. That one off the back iron and out. Edmonds comes away with it, and she'll take it up. Vanderbilt looking for a ball screen. Good switch there, Kasten. Bollenbacher looking, tries to drive baseline. Floaters up. That one doesn't hit anything. Vanderbilt tries to go back up, and there's a foul. That one will be on scales. That's her first. Team's eighth. And now Vanderbilt at the line for two. First one's up. That one's good. And the scoreboard and clock just went out. Don't know what happened there. Something must have just come unplugged, but they just, clock and scoreboard went out. Oh, and they're back on. Now Vanderweel to shoot her second. That one off the mark. And it goes out again. And something just can't stay plugged in, I guess. Don't know if they're kicking the line down there or anything or what, but. Now they'll have to restart the system again, and now it's back on. We'll get back into play. Hopefully it doesn't come off again, but I guess here we can't guarantee anything. And so now it's harnessed to re inbound. She'll find Smith. Edmonds. Edmonds doing really well, moving her feet, keeping her on this side of the floor. She'll tip it out, and it'll be cast and ball near the midline. And now Harness again to inbound. Dunlap. Dunlap here guarding. Oh, that one's blocked. Another block shot from the Dragons. This one to Vanderweel. She'll go right up against Scales. No foul there. Like I, These Dragons are trying to look for these inside contact shots to get called, but none of them are getting called. They converted anyway, but they're just looking for those to try to get them within this, to get them back from this deficit. Stop the clock at least. Miller, that one's poked away. That one's stripped by Edmonds. Good defensive work there. 36 seconds left here in the game. That one to Bollenbacher for three. That one gets nothing. And now Scales has it with 25 left in the fourth. That one's off the mark. She was in disbelief that she missed that one. But it was off the mark, a missed shot. And now there's a jump ball. 
And the Dragons will have possession with 16.2 left on the clock. And it looks like Kasten, a deserved win with showing great defensive skills today. But the Dragons also putting up a really good performance of rim protection by Lizzie Edmonds, putting up as many blocks as she did. So final score as the buzzer sounds. Kasten, 37, Argus, 21. Kasten starts the... I, have they played a game this year, Phil? I don't know. I don't think so. All right, so they'll start 1-0, and and then the Dragons will start 0-1. A rough start, but maybe they'll bounce back from it next game. Yet again, a lot of not very experienced players on the varsity level for both of these teams. So, well, I do know that the, the, the Lady Dragons do play on Saturday. Um, they play at Bethany Christian, but it is a... Uh, if you, they actually, each player got two tickets for their parents, and that was it. Okay. Oh. So right. there's, uh, and I don't believe that they have a broadcasting system up there, so it'll have to be through Facebook, Twitter, all that social media stuff yeah, on how to get the score. There's enough social media to where someone will find it. <laughs> so, and then uh, next Tuesday, we will be at Argus at the Phil, Bright, Phil Waybright Gymnasium. Um, but I don't know who we play there. I'm not sure either. So Miss Amy is going to get us the final stats here real quick. The unofficial stats for tonight's game. It's a good thing we're getting hers because I don't think mine are very reliable tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and if, and if uh, anybody out there listening, um, like you've heard me say a couple of times in tonight's broadcast, we have, uh, this is Dylan Kindig's first night of uh, commentating. And then we have Ellie Bolenbacher. Um, this is her first night doing the um, camera. So let them know that they did a good job. Um, I can't tell you that uh, uh, Steve texted and said everything was looking good and sounding good. We did have to change the date. I oh, mean, the date was wrong? The date was wrong. Uh oh. Uh, but we did have to change the date. But I'm trying to figure out how to uh, to read this. It looks like for for tonight's game we have Shepard for two points, Stoltz for two points, Dunlap for four. Vanderweel for two, Edmonds for six, and Bolenbacher for five for a total of 21. So that's the stats for tonight. And again, the Lady Dragons will be playing uh, Saturday at uh, Bethany Christian, but they do have limited number of tickets there um, due to the, uh, the whole COVID thing. And then we will be uh, in Argus on Tuesday night. So f from uh, for Phil Dean and uh, Dylan Kindig, I almost called you your brother. <laughs> um, and for Ellie Bolenbacher, we wish everybody a good night and we will see you later.